Okay, we've learned how to put our trombones together and how to take care of it a little bit. Now we need to learn how to read some music on the trombone. So we're going to start our practice session. The first thing you should have is a music stand. If you haven't gone out and purchased a music stand, please do so. These are a folding wire stand. The first piece you're going to have is the, the bottom section. The three legs just pull apart and it usually just clicks into place and set that in front of you. We're going to pick up the next section that holds the music and you're going to fold out the two arms and then the back of the music stand attaches to the, the, the tall piece like this. And you're going to want that about eye level. So don't, uh, most of these music stands have a way of raising them higher if you're standing when you play and we can lower it too. So we're going to just put it about eye level. And then reach down and grab your lesson book here. And we're going to begin on page 6. So we're opening our, opening our book to page 6 and get that music stand right in front of us. Okay. The first thing we're going to learn on page 6 is our first tone called D. A D is in fourth position. On the trombone, fourth position if you look at the end of your slide, it's going to be about even with the bell. That's fourth position. Uh, number one, all we're doing is practicing fourth position. We're playing whole notes. A whole note is a note that lasts for four beats. So, to make a sound on trombone, remember we're going to take a breath, put our lips together, and try to buzz a tone. Let's practice line number one. Our first note is D. I'm going to tap my foot for four beats while I play the note, and then I'm going to tap my foot for four beats while I rest. Number one. One, two, ready, play. Rest. Two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four. So that's our first note, the D, fourth position. Number two is called the fun continues. We're going to learn how to play a C. A C is in sixth position. For most of us, that's as far as we can reach. Our slide is about as far as you can reach. If you all of us, if you reach too far and you see, we call it the sleeve. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little line on the bottom of the slide. If you see that, you've gone a little too far. The sixth position is about an inch in front of that. So C is a little lower tone. Let's play number two. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay. Now we're going to move the slide during the exercise. Number three, a whole lot of counting starts in fourth position with the D. Then we're going to rest for four beats, go to sixth position, then rest, back to fourth position, rest, and then back to sixth position. Number three, a whole lot of counting. Okay, remember to tap your foot all the way through the song. One, Two, ready, play. Rest, move to sixth position. Play. Rest, back to fourth position. Back to sixth position. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we're going to learn our third note. Number four is B flat. B flat is in first position. 
first position, the slide is all the way in. And this is a lower tone. B flat, we're going to loosen our lips a little bit. Relax our lips, that's a lower tone. Let's play number four. All of the, it's B flat all the way across. We don't even have to move the slide. One, two, ready, play. Rest, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Number five, six, and seven are going to use all three of those notes we've just learned. Number five starts in fourth position with the D, then sixth position C, then first position B flat, and then back to sixth position C. Okay, number five. One, two, three, play. <laughs> How did you do? Did you remember to tap your foot while you played? That's really important. We want to get you used to that. Number six starts in sixth position with the C. One, two, three, four. Another thing you can do before you practice, we're looking at number seven, and before I play it, I'm going to look at the notes and study what slide position. So I'm looking, first note is first position, then sixth position, then fourth position, and then first position. So I'm kind of studying that ahead of time. Another thing you'd like to practice is what are the names of the notes? Number seven, B flat is our first note, then C, and then D and then B flat. We like to know what slide position to put the slide in and what the name of the note is. Here's number seven. Starts with B flat, first position. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're moving over to page seven. We have something new on number eight. We're going to be playing two half notes in a row before we rest. So number eight is going to start out with a fourth position D. We're going to hold that for four beats, and then we're going to play another D right after it for four beats without resting. Then we have a rest in between, and then we move to two Cs, six positions, and then two B flats in first position. Another thing we haven't talked about is tonguing. When you play a note on the trombone, we'd like you to take that breath, and we're, right before we play the note, you're thinking of saying the word two. So I take a breath and I go, two, except I'm buzzing my lips. <sighs> it's like saying the word two. We use our tongue to start the tone. We'll be working on that in lessons. So, number eight. Fourth position, D. One, two, three, four. Rest, switch to six, sixth position. Rest, back to first position. Okay. 
Number nine, something new again. Now we're going to be playing two notes in a row and they're going to be different notes. We're going to start with fourth position for four beats and we're going to go right to sixth position without the rest in between. So that's something new. What are the first notes? We've got on number nine, we've got a D for four beats, then a C. Then we're going to stay in s on the C and then go to B flat. And then the final two notes are back to C and then up to D. Number nine, side by side. One, two, three, play. <laughs> Stay in six. One, two, back to six. Right at the end of my last song, you might have noticed or heard that uh, the, the tone was a little bubbly. What happens when you play the trombone? is the saliva that you're blowing and buzzing through the mouthpiece collects and we have a water key. So during your practice session, sometimes you're going to have to go over to a garbage can, just press the water key and give a little shake. If your arm is long enough and you can blow a little bit through the mouthpiece. For some of us, if our arm isn't as long, if we take that mouthpiece off, then you might be able to reach and blow, just blow a stream of air and get rid of that water. Okay, we're going to continue with number 10. Two by two begins in sixth position. Again, remember to tap the foot. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Number 11, something new. We have half notes. Half notes are worth just two foot taps each. So I'm going to blow for just two foot taps. A half note has a stem that goes either down or up attached to the whole note. Number 11, half the price. Again, tapping your foot two times for every half note and two times for every half rest. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Number 12, Cardiff by the Sea. Now we're going to combine half notes with a couple whole notes and we're going to have some half rest in there too. Number 12, Cardiff by the Sea. The first three notes we're moving from first position to sixth position to fourth position. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> Number 13, two for the show. I'm going to play the top line first. One, two, three, four. Bottom line. One, 
two, three, four. These exercises are using just those three notes, B flat, C, and D. We're going to play one more on this page. Number 14 uses all the same three notes with a mixture of whole notes, whole rest, half notes, and half rest. One, two, 14, go. <laughs> Let's turn to page 8. We're learning something called quarter notes on this page. On page 8, a quarter note is a note that's filled in with a stem. Each of those quarter notes are worth one foot tap each. So when I play quarter notes, I'm going to be thinking two, 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 two. Each note is, I'm going to use my tongue for each tone. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep the air blowing and use my tongue to make that sound. Let's practice number 15. It starts out with four D's, fourth position. One, two, three, four. Number 16, our first song, Hot Cross Buns. This is always one of our favorites. This song is going to use the same three notes, D, C, and B flat. And I'm going to be using half notes, whole notes, and quarter notes all in this exercise. Number 16, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Another song, number 17, is another fun one to practice. It uses the same three notes again. 17, Eau Claire de la Lune, starts out with first position, B flat. Remember to tap your foot as we practice. One, two, three, four. <laughs> If you're able to play number 16 and number 17, you're well on the way to doing a nice job on the trombone. We've got the basics learned. We've learned how to move our slide. We've learned how to tongue. We've learned half notes, quarter notes, whole notes. We've learned the basics. There's two more notes I just want to quickly show you that we'll be learning on page uh, 8. The E flat is in third position. The brace that you hold on to is about even with the bell. Fourth position, the end of the slide was even with the bell. So third position, we're moving it up a little bit. It's a little higher tone than the, than the D. 
sometimes a student will lift their finger just to kind of check. So that brace is about even. <laughs> see the difference between the D to E flat. Number 21, we're introducing a, a second note in first position. We've already learned how to play B flat. If we tighten our lips and blow a little faster, we're going to play F. So two different tones. So on trombone, we've learned five notes, B flat, first position, C, D, E flat, and F. all kinds of songs you're going to be able to play just using those five notes. As you practice through the book, we're going to gradually learn a new note here and there as we go through the book. We'll learn probably 10 to 12 different notes this year. I'd like you to continue practicing the way we've practiced so far in the book, continue tapping your foot as you play, and continue to have good posture. I didn't talk a lot about it, but you could see that I was sitting up nice and straight and my trombone was pretty level as I practiced. And continue doing that and you're going to have a great year on the trombone.